All right, what's going on guys? Chris Bumstead here meeting with Dr. Khan. Super excited for this. If you guys follow me, you know I'm really into my health and I'm learning to get into regenerative medicine. And Dr. Khan is the mastermind of all that. I'm new and quickly learning, so getting some stem cells, I've gotten some in the past, but you really have to be an expert in knowing how to use it, how to source it, how to apply all the different things. You have to be truly an expert and that's exactly what he is. So I was excited to come down here, get a few processes done as a competitive bodybuilder. I put a lot of wear and tear on my body, especially my joints. So we're filling up my knees full of a bunch of stem cells. We're gonna do an IV so my full body can get it. And my goal is that when I retire competing, I'm actually able to still run and act and train like a younger guy who wasn't beat up as a bodybuilder. And I tell him that he's confident. He's like, we can do that, that's easy. So I appreciate the confidence and I mean, I'm ready to rock and roll. So I'm super pumped to see how the treatment goes and feel better after all this. The key here is we do high resolution ultrasound to figure out exactly what the problem is. And now we've identified a few issues. He's kind of had nagging issues, like they're not like limiting his workouts, but they still cause some pain. Uh, so basically he has t tears in his tendons, in his meniscus, he also has some degeneration. So we're going to use a combination of stem cells and exosomes, which actually modify the natural course of the disease. Because arthritis and degeneration, they just get worse and worse over time. This actually makes it go the opposite way, which means it regenerates it. So it'll actually help to repair and fix the tissue and hopefully be a permanent solution so you don't have pain anymore. So. Let's get into it. Yeah. Have you had, a, like you definitely have some degeneration in your joints here. Mm -hmm. Like arthritis too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Alright, so now you can straighten it out a bit. Because if you have so many chronic tears around the, if you think about it, right, tendons and ligaments, they're there to support the joint, right? Yeah. And if you have all this tearing, you're not going to have that same st structural support, which means more wear and tear over time. You're more likely to tear something too. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And so at least now the, the structural stuff will be fixed, mm -hmm. so less degeneration and wear and tear, and you know, we won't have the tears there at least. Yeah. So we wrapped up his knees. There were just one or two injections. <laughs> I think we did like, I think we literally did like 10. Uh, and we we're, you know, we we're talking about the importance of actually treating it because those tears can lead to instability, which can lead to more degeneration, which can lead to more arthritis. So this will be preventative in a sense, but obviously it'll also fix his current problems and hopefully get rid of all his pain. Uh, now we've moved on to the shoulder. The shoulder, he has a chronic labral tear, which he actually had injected a few years ago, uh, but uh, it's still bothering him a bit. So yeah, we're gonna do another injection directly into the labrum. He's got a shitload of muscle. <laughs> I have actually seen this one. Rami, Rami. <laughs> you haven't seen Remy. Yeah, when you, you see it, when we go to Dubai, you, when you come with me. But yeah, I'm gonna go here. Yeah. But then that's, that's, just, a that's just a cyst. Yeah. One, two, three. Well, since he's here. Okay, that's it. So, uh, so as, as you guys probably know, Chris is dealing with an autoimmune condition as well. And one of the interesting parts about intravenous stem cells is they can modulate your immune system. What that means is it can change the signaling. And what we know, the problem with autoimmune conditions is kind of like a teenager gone wrong. It means they're sending the wrong signals. It just hasn't been trained properly or for whatever reason, it starts misbehaving. So the stem cell, <clears throat> so the intravenous stem cells, what they can do is they can teach the immune system to behave properly. And that can actually treat or even put patients in remission with like inflammatory bowel disease, with IgA nephropathy, with rheumatoid arthritis, loss of different conditions where patients can get off medications and actually live a, a normal life. So it can be pretty life changing, but it's really the combination of using the right type of stem cells, the right dosage, and then also we combine it with certain peptides. The way we grow stem cells, like Chris was saying, is there's a lot of nuance and there has to be a lot of details into understanding why you're using the stem cells and exactly the type of stem cells you're using. So we're hoping the combination of intravenous stem cells and then also the injection that we're going to do in Dubai will hopefully put him in a really good state for his kidney and for his autoimmune condition. And so he won't need medications down the road and he'll just live a healthy, normal life.
Yeah, no, it's all, the goal is always off medication. Yeah. <laughs> Healthy as possible without medication, that's exactly what we're trying to do. Yes, that's not what Big Pharma wants to hear, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, <it's laughs> but that's the beauty of, but that's, honestly, that's the beauty of stem cells. Yeah. They, they actually, I've had so many patients, it's changed their lives and they've, they're able to live a normal life now and uh, they don't have to think about their chronic medical condition, mm -hmm. right? But chronic medical disease is unfortunately the main way medical system makes money. Yeah. Uh, and so that's just the way it's been designed. But uh, stem cells, gene therapy, and like intersection of gene therapy and cell therapy is really what's gonna change people's livelihoods with chronic disease. And that's why I was saying it's easy to keep you going because we have a pipeline of gene therapy products. Like mm -hmm. we're gonna be doing the statin gene therapy for him tomorrow, uh, which is an anti-aging gene therapy, but we have so many other ones. And gene therapies can actually change your physiology and kind of reprogram your body from the inside. So it slows down aging and it makes you age better. All the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs>